Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, in this exciting video, I'm thrilled to demonstrate a fantastic tutorial on controlling the RGB LED using a rotary encoder. This entire design and simulation were made by using the Wakui Online Simulator. It's an amazing tool to experiment with electronics virtually. To access the Wakui Online Simulator and join the virtual fun, simply open your web browser and search for wakui.com. Let's bring this simulation. Once it open, click on the first link and open the site. As we make the simulation on Arduino so select the Arduino as microcontroller. Here you notice two screens, one designated for the coding section and the other for circuit building. We begin by constructing the circuit, and once that's set up, then we see the coding phase of the project. Now, let's gather the components we need. Collect them and simply drag them into the workspace. Next up, we require an RGB LED. Select it from the menu and drop it into the workspace. Now, let's add a rotary encoder for precise control. Let's make the connection between the LCD display and the Arduino. I use the display with the I2C module for better results and less connections. Connect SDA pin to Arduino A4 pin and SCL pin to the A5 pin of Arduino. Now, let's connect the rotary encoder to Arduino. Connect the ground to the Arduino's ground, VCC to VCC. Then, link the SW pin to the S2 pin, DT pin to D3, and CLK pin to D4 on the Arduino. Ensure these connections for smooth operation. Afterward, connect the LED to the Arduino. However, for current control, include a 220 ohms resistor. Connect each resistor to the LED's three input pins, this will effectively limit the current for optimal performance. You adjust the resistor value as shown in this video. Experimenting with different resistor values can fine-tune the LED's performance and brightness to meet your preferences. You have two options for the resistors, either use three separate resistors, or simply duplicate the same resistor by pressing the D button on your keyboard. Choose the method that suits your preference. Connect all the resistors in series with the LED, and be sure to color code the wires according to the LED pin configuration, red for red, green for green, and blue for blue. This helps maintain clarity in your wiring setup. Connect the red pin resistor to D5, the green pin resistor to D6, and the blue pin resistor to D9 on the Arduino. This ensures that each color is appropriately linked to the corresponding Arduino pin.
To complete the setup, connect the common anode pin to the VCC pin of the Arduino. This establishes the common power source for the RGB LED. We're almost there. The connection part completed, it's time to move into the coding section. Let's move forward and bring our project to life through programming. Here, I've already prepared the code for this project. You can download it which link is in description, and since it's open source, feel free to modify it according to your preferences. Let's make this project uniquely yours. Start the simulation and check how it is works. Let's go. Since we're using the I2C module, we'll need to install the required library. As the simulation begins, observe how the display provides all information about the project. It showcases color values, blink interval, and the LED's blink duration, offering a real-time insight into the project's functionality. This detailed display adds a layer of understanding to our RGB LED. Just press the middle button on the encoder to select and navigate through the menu. To change the values within the menu, rotate the knob of the encoder. It acts as a versatile tool for seamless customization. Additionally, you have control over the LED's blink interval and blink duration in seconds within the settings. Use these parameters to fine-tune the visual effects and create dynamic lighting sequences tailored to your preferences. After storing the data, witness the exact output on the LED, reflecting the parameters you've configured. The display will also showcase the updated values, providing real-time feedback on the settings you've chosen. Thank you for staying tuned. Now, go ahead, modify the colors, and enjoy this project. If you found the video informative, hit the subscribe button to keep learning with us. Don't forget to share this video with your tech-savvy friends. See you in the next exciting video.